All right, I am back. I'm not sure if everybody, all right, I am back, guys. I'm not sure if everybody is with me or not. Let's see. All right. I just want to wait to get everybody back on. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just going to keep it on this view. And hopefully this will work. Best laid plans. Sorry, guys. All right. I see everyone coming back on. Sorry. So sorry, guys. Don't tell Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> all right I see most people coming back on all right so let's try this again I'm Chris I know you can't see my face you saw, I saw it before probably but we're going to do the angel wings tonight um so we're first going to start by setting up our frame all right so what we need to do is we need to modify the heart frame that we get from the Dollar Tree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting on this bottom bar here these parts off because we don't need these okay and we're gonna do this on each side and I'm gonna do the same over here we're just gonna cut right underneath where those horizontal bars are okay then we're going to go to the top and I'm going to be cutting little pieces off just the top part and it'll kind of give you a little gap here. The reason why I do that is that when we bend it, it just kind of gives you a little bit more flexibility to bend it in. And then what I actually do is I take a zip tie and I put the zip tie through here just to kind of keep it connected and give it a little bit more stability. So then I kind of just give it a pull like that, okay? And then I just clip that. And then if you need to bring it in more, you would just clip these little edges more if you needed to, to give it a little bit more bend if you wanted to, okay? So that's the beginning part of it. So a lot of the instructions that I've seen, they stop here and they just kind of put uh, tape and stuff over the edges. When I did it, I just didn't, it wasn't big enough. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to expand the wings. So what I did is I took the Unique in the Creek boards and I put them on each side, okay? And then I just want to make sure you guys can see how we're doing it here. All right. So we're going to zip tie these to the Dollar Tree frame. So what I do is I start around row D, okay? And I'm just going to put a zip tie on this left side here, right about here. Okay, and I don't tighten it just yet because I want to make sure that I kind of get it, you know, everywhere I need it. So then what I can do is I go up to where H is and I do another one on H. And then we're going to do one more up top. Okay, so we're going to kind of do it where the curve is up here. Right about here. Second one in. Right. So then what I do is I just kind of hold it in place because I want this kind of lined up so it's still on the board. Okay, and then I just pull those tight. Alright, and then we'll clip these off. I'm sorry if my head gets in the way. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side, okay? And you're going to line it up just the same. So we want to put it on row D on the Unique in the Creek board. 
And then again, we're going to come up here to H. This is right. I don't tighten it because this way I can move it if I need to, if I need to move the board a little bit. Okay, we're going to go in through here. Okay, and then we're going to do the one more up top, that second one. And that's up on J. Okay. So again, I'm just going to kind of line it up so that it's straight on the board and then tighten these. And then the same up here. Okay, and then I'm going to cut these. All right, so then basically there's your wreath frame, okay? You can kind of pull it in, out, however you need to. Um, so now what I'm going to do is put in, I'm going to do one side of where we're going to put the zip ties so that we can do the placement for the flower, um, for the petals. And then we'll go into the petals um, and do that part. All right, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to start left or right side, it doesn't matter. We're going to start on row A in the middle and we're going to do a zip tie. Okay. Sorry, my hands are shaky. I was having asthma issues beforehand and my, did my inhaler, so I'm like, the present zone is like driving me crazy. So center A, we're going to do center B. I'm just going to do your zip ties. Some people use the pipe cleaners, which is fine. I just, with my hands, zip ties work best for me. Okay. Then we're going to go to row C, and we're going to put it in the outers here. Okay. And then we're going to put it, row C again, in the two inner ones. Okay. And then we're going to go to row D. This is why I kind of like lining up the boards like this because then I can kind of go by the rows and it kind of keeps me where I need to be. Um, so again, we're going to do, this time we're going to do this outer one here. Okay. Ah, sorry, I'm getting there. And we're going to do this one. So now this one on row D, we're only doing just this outer one, okay? And then we're going to actually add one to the top, the middle bar on row D. Okay, so you have one, one, you have two, and then you're going to have your first row of three, okay? So we're going to skip row E, and then we're going to go to row F and do the same thing. So we're going to do just the this outer one, okay, just the outer. And then we're going to do the two inners. And then we're going to do this middle bar again, and that's going to be for row F. You could do them as you go along with the petals if you want. I just find it was easier to preload it once I got my design down and figured out how I wanted to do it, okay? So now we're going to go to row G. We're going to do the same thing, just that outer one. We're going to do the two inner ones. And then we're going to do that middle bar. And these will kind of slide down, but that's okay. Okay, and now we're on row H. So row H, again, we're going to do the outer one. We're going to do the two inner. And it's okay that it goes around this bar. That's fine. It just gives a little more support. And then we're going to go right up where the cross here is there. We're going to go above that, and that's going to be our center one for H. Okay. So now we're on row I. Okay. And this one we're going to do, we're going to go back to the two outer ones. Okay. 
we're going to do this middle one on I because now we're kind of creating our curve and then we're going to do a center one for I. Okay, gets a little tricky when you start getting up here with all of the zip ties, but trust me, it, it works. Um, and then we're going to do, when we come up to this one, we're going to do, I believe it's this one here. So it's going to be just where you put that bar in, that's, it's going to be right there. So it's creating the curve. We're going to have one in between the board and the middle part of the frame here. And then we're going to have one in the middle. Okay. And we're also going to have more here and more here. So it's hard. It kind of, with the way the curve and stuff goes, it's kind of hard to see this until we kind of get all the petals in, but I'm just going to put these here so you see them. So you'll have one here, another one here, and these are on that middle, middle bar. And then you're going to have, I want to say it's three, but we'll count them, three on this, between this and the middle, you're going to have three. So on each side, you're going to have a total of 29 petals on each side. So let's see if I actually counted mine right. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So it's gonna be 28 and 29. Okay. All right, so there is how your zip ties are gonna go. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the right side and I'll just do them up quickly, but just know there's 29 on each side and then we're gonna start um, the petal folds. Um, I'll do that a few times, one, a couple for each side and then we'll just start laying out the petals, okay? So this will take me just a minute to put all the zip ties in. Some people, when they do it, they use just um, one type of mesh. Um, I like to use different meshes because um, I just like it shows just different textures. So as long as you make sure, you know, you have 29 pieces for each side, you can mix and match however you want them. You don't have to have your sides match up. You can put different fabrics, you know, wherever you want them. Um, I just like to do, I felt like it was better if I did each side at the same time because then I felt like I was putting the same same type of mesh um, in each spot and I just like that a little bit better for the look. But if you mess up a few, no one's going to notice. All right. All right. So hold on one second. I just screwed up because I put it on E instead of D. So remember, we're skipping... We're skipping D, um, sorry, we're skipping E. We're not putting anything on row E. So we're doing D. And then going up. And row D is where you start your first uh, set of three petals. And then again, we're skipping E, going right to F. And then we have our middle. And then we'll do our outer on F. And trust me, I've messed up the, uh, the zip ties a million times, but they're easy enough just to take out and redo them. All right. We're getting there. on H. Okay. 
Alright. H again, we're gonna go right above that crossbar there for our middle one. And we got our outer. Sorry, I'm trying to do this quick because I know this is the boring part. Almost done. Couple more and we're done. And then we'll check them as we go. If I screwed up or miscounted, that's we'll just fix them when I get to that part, so we can move on to the next uh, the next steps here. All right. So just remember, 29 each side, and that's what worked for the design that I did. And that just, for me, I just liked it because it made it more full, but you don't have to use that many. I think some of the other tutorials were like 18, which, like I said, do what, what you want. So I'm going to move this aside for the moment. Let me get this out of the way. All right. So for tonight, the type of mesh that I picked, I picked a fabric mesh. I picked just a standard, like a like a regular deco value mesh. I think you can see that. It's down a little bit. Um, a horizontal wide stripe mesh. Okay, and then I used, I had this, it's like an iridescent, almost like a, a snow drift mesh. Um, let's see if you can see it okay. I don't know if it's too, the light is too bright or not. Can you guys see that okay? All right, so I move these aside. So I'm going to use the iridescent, the snowball mesh first. So when we do the left side, we want the finished edge to be on top. Okay. So when we start it, we're going to do curl side up, and you're going to have your finished edge upper left hand corner. Okay. So you're going to bring top point down to the bottom point, okay, and then what I do, just because it's easier for me, is I do points, let me bring this down just a little bit, I do points, and then I clip them with little clips, okay, and the same thing over on this side, I just kind of make little points, and then clip them, um, and then what I do is I just turn up the edge a little bit, and you're just going to scrunch up the middle, and then you're kind of flip it. Okay, so they already kind of look like angel wings, but this is the part where we kind of have to flip it because we want the the finished edges up on top. So I'm going to take a elastic band and I'm going to just start it like twice around. Okay, and I'm going to hold it. And then what I want to do is I want to kind of put my finger in between and I kind of grab it. You want to fold the edges down. Okay, I'm going to fold them down like that and then finish up your elastic. So now when you take these off, your finished edge, and I kind of just kind of pull them out a little bit, here is your finished edge and when we place it on, now your finished edge is up on top, okay, because otherwise if we did this on the right side, our finished edge is on the bottom and you have a yucky edge up on top, okay? So this will be on the left side. And then what I do is, let me turn that down a little bit. Hold on. I don't know if that made it better or worse. Um, 
I put these to my left and then I'll put my right ones to the right. So we're going to do that again, but do one for the right side now. Okay. So now for this one, this finished edge, we're just turning. So now your finished edge, think, okay, doing the right side, my finished edge is on the right. Same exact fold. We're going to fold top down. We're going to clip our corners. And I'm so sorry. I know I'm not looking at the comments. I'm like so bad. Okay, so you have your points on your corners. You're just going to kind of just fold that up just a little bit. And then scrunch up the middle. And then you're just going to kind of fold it together. And you can kind of look when you bring them together like this, you can kind of see that your points are around the same same uh, distance. And then I just kind of bring down like that so you're going to have a little nub on the end. Okay. Start your elastic like twice around it. And then you're going to kind of put your finger in the middle and you're basically just folding them over. Okay. But you're pulling these bottom pieces, you're pulling them down as you're doing that flip. Okay, and then you're going to do that. So now we're flipping it this way. Okay, we're going to kind of open it up a little bit, kind of just give it a pull. Now here's our finished edge. All right, let's see if you could guys see that. Here's the finished edge. And now when we put it onto our board, our finished edge is now up top. Again, if you were to flip this and put this one on the left, most people wouldn't notice it. But I do because the the bad edge is, is, is up, okay? So then I would just kind of put that to my right side. So I'll do one more for each side, and then basically we'll just start putting our petals um, onto our board. Okay, so this is going to be a left one. So uh, finished edge, upper left hand. Bring your point down. You're going to clip your points on your corners here. Okay, just get a little smooth. You're going to flip it up just a little bit, just the point up, and you're going to scrunch up, and then you're going to give it a little, little twisty fold there. Okay, reach down. You're going to have your little nub. All right, you're going to start your elastic just twice because if you put it too tight, when you go to flip this down, it, it's hard to do. So just do it like two times around. Put your finger kind of in between, and then with your other two fingers, grab the edges, and you're flipping them down. And then as you do that, just kind of hold right below the nub, and then finish with your elastic, okay? And again, this will be our left side. So here's our finished, finished edge again, okay? And then I put it to my left so I don't mess it up. Okay, and then we'll do another one for the right here. So now this was our left finished edge. We now flip to the right. Okay, bring that down. Clip your corners. Flip that little piece up. Scrunch it up. And do a little, little flip there. And again, create your little nub. Do your elastic like twice. Put your finger in between the two. So you want to kind of be reaching for the top part. And then with these fingers, you're kind of bringing down the bottom ones. Okay. And then you finish up. And again, this is the right side. So there you have your finished edge. So now I'll put that to my right. All right. So now let's get our get our board. I tend to turn mine toward the side that I'm doing just because it's easier when I'm pulling the zip ties. Um, so we're going to start on row A and you can use whatever petal you want to use. Okay. So I usually start on the bottom ones. I like them kind of more whimsically. So I'll use one of these, the snow drifts that we did. Okay. So you're just going to put that in there and you're going to pull that. Okay, and you just kind of leave it just like that for now. Let me see if I turn this back on. I'm trying not so it's not so bright. 
Okay, you guys. All right. So just like I said, so I remember which ones I do, I'm going to take one from my right and put it on my right side as well. Okay. I'll just tighten those. Now you got to kind of, you do have to clip your zip ties as you go because you have to put the other uh, ones and layer them on top. Now I'm going to use a different one now. I don't want to use the same thing. So I'm going to use, um, so want to kind of do whimsy on the bottom. So I'm going to use just one of my regular, like just a regular value mesh. Okay. And that's just going to go right on top of that one. Just going to pull it tight. And then the same thing. Okay. So if you prep your, your petals beforehand, it makes it very easy to put them together and you don't have to worry about which side is it, right side or left side, okay? And I can do it like this, so if that makes it easier for the viewers. Okay. All right, so now let's do, let's just pick any one. So I'm gonna do, uh, pick a fabric mesh now. All right, so now we're gonna always start on the outside. So we're on row C right now, okay? And I'm gonna put one here. And then I'm going to put one right next to it. And I'm going to just use the same just for continuity here. Okay. And then we can fluff and, and do all that afterwards. You don't have to worry about that. So we'll clip these. And again, now I'm going to do the same thing on my right side. And I'm going to use the same fabric. So this is just a, a fabric mesh that I'm going to use. And again, always start on the outside because then the way it layers in, it kind of just gives it that nice uh, angel wing look. Okay, I'm going to clip these. Okay, so let's do our next one. Um, the horizontal wide stripe looks to me the same kind of as the fabric mesh, so I kind of like to mix up the textures. So what I'm going to do is go back and use um, the snow drift mesh. Okay, and again, I'm going to go on the outside first. And then this is where I kind of start mixing and playing with stuff. So now I'm going to put um, a horizontal wide stripe in the middle. And I usually will do the same petal outside, inside, and then just change up the middle one. And then there's that one. Okay. So you can see it kind of gives it a nice fullness. So now I'm just going to kind of do the same thing on the right side. So I'm going to start with the snow drift. I knew I messed this up over here. I didn't do just the outer. I did the two outers. So I just got to, this is what happens when I do it too quick. Okay, so that's going to go on the outer. It's just layering right over the other ones. And then we did horizontal wide stripe in the middle. And then we're going to do another snow drift. in the inner. So you can see how quick this goes once you have all your petals prepped. It goes pretty quick. So we can just keep going on the right and then switch back to the left. So now what I usually do is whatever one I used in the center, I tend to start the next row in the outer. Okay, so we're going to do horizontal wide stripe in the outer here. And then I'll just pick a different one for the middle. I'll probably use, 
and just kind of look at it as I go and see what I kind of want in there. So I'll just do a um, the regular value mesh one in there because it doesn't have the iridescence in it. So it kind of does that. And then we'll do another horizontal wide stripe. Okay, so then we're just going to turn it again. Now we're going to make sure we use our petals from our left. Oh, sorry, it came up on my thing here. Okay, so we did horizontal wide stripes. Again, don't forget we're, we skipped row E. So we got our horizontal wide stripe. I'm going to do our value mesh. And then another horizontal wide stripe. And again, some some people like to just use all, um, you know, all one. Fabric mesh or, you know, whatever type of mesh, which is absolutely fine. Okay, let's clip these. So now again, whatever one I did in the middle, I tend to start on my outer. So I'm going to use the value mesh. And I'm on the left hand side. So you notice I just picked from my right. So I put that one back down. Okay, so I'm going to do my value mesh. And I'll probably do because you could see like this, a lot of the fabric mesh that's in here, um, the value mesh and the iridescent, I'm going to add a fabric mesh next to the middle because I just like the way that'll look. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to add my fabric mesh. And then another value mesh for the inner part. And you can kind of see how nice and full it is. So I'm going to turn it around now. And same thing. So again, my value mesh was in the middle. So now I'm going to use that on the next row for the outer and the inner. And we're going to do fabric mesh for the middle. Like this. And then we're going to do the value mesh again in here. Okay, we clip those. Okay. So now I did fabric mesh in the middle, so I'm going to kind of start with a fabric mesh. And this is going to be my outer. And then once we get all the petals on, we're going to add our greenery and our bow. And now I'll probably go back to the iridescent one because we haven't used that one in a while. I'm going to put that one in the middle. And then it's going to be fabric on the inner. And then we'll clip these. And I'm going to turn it back to the left. And the same thing. Do fabric on the outside. And do iridescent in the middle. This is where the <laughs> zip ties get kind of tangled sometimes. But if you go row by row, at least you'll know where you're at. And then we're going to do another fabric mesh in the middle. Okay, so this is kind of starting to give you your contour there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to do an iridescent on the outside because that's kind of 
what I did there. And then let's do horizontal wide stripe next. And then we'll have another, whoop, another iridescent here. switch to the other side and so if you do if you end up using just one type of mesh obviously it's easier just to kind of go up and do one side at a time um, like I said I just like the look of using different textures and stuff with the mesh That's just me do horizontal wide stripe And then another iridescent. It goes pretty quick. I hope I'm doing okay, guys. This is the only second time I've done a live, and this is the first one by myself. So definitely uh, open to uh, constructive criticism, okay? All right, so now we're going to do the next part up here. So I did a horizontal wide stripe in the middle. So let's do that on the outside here. I don't like the way that moves. I think I had that on there wrong. Sorry, I just thought I had it wrong, but I didn't. There we go. Okay, so we got that. And I'll probably do another value mesh in the middle here. And then we'll do another horizontal wide stripe in the middle here. So that'll be, that kind of covers the last, that first row here, we're done with our mesh on that part. So now we're gonna just be working on the upper two, two upper rows here. All right, so let's go back to our left side. And then we did horizontal wide stripe. And we did just the regular mesh, value mesh. And then we did one more horizontal. So you kind of finish up with this one right where that crossbar is on the heart frame. Okay, we'll cut these off. All right, so now where it gets a little with all these. So I just kind of take it row by row here. All right, so we always start on the outer, okay? So I'm going to do, I just got to do a quick fold because I want to do the iridescent part here. I was going to fold all of these in the beginning, but I didn't because I didn't know how many I was going to be folding for you. Just do this real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to do an iridescent on the outside here. And I'll do going to do a the regular value mesh in the middle. So the only thing we're going to do different up here is we want our very last petal to be this right here. Okay, so got that caught in there. Let me cut these off. Okay, so now we're going to do another top and another middle. Okay, and you could do, you know, whatever petals you want. I'm going to do horizontal wide stripe up here. And I'm going to do. I'm just going to put in another, actually I'm going to just do another quick iridescent fold in there. It will give me a little sparkle up top. Okay, I'll just do that. And fold those down and then just finish doing that. And again, you just kind of, you can open it up a little bit if you want. Okay, and that's going to go right on top of that one. You're kind of layering it. Okay. So again, you'll have one more left here, and you have two more up at the top. So we're going to be doing these top two next, and then this will be our very last one. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do... So I'm going to do a fabric mesh up here. And then I'm going to do the value mesh up here. Okay, and then like I said, our very last one, because then it kind of gives you the form and it makes this top part lie flat. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it and we'll do the other side too so you can see it. So it kind of it kind of gives it that that form and then once we kind of have it upright we can kind of fix all the petals if we want. So I'll finish up this side real quick and then we'll go on to the greenery and all that. All right, so I'm just going to make a couple of these iridescent petals because I didn't have them all made yet. And again, I'm just kind of clipping those corners, I'm doing that little fold up. I'm going to scrunch it up, make that little nub. I don't know what the name, I just, to me it's an angel wing petal. There was um, somebody I watched do it on YouTube, so I'm not sure if there's a specific name. I know there's a bunch of different type of petals, like the Rita petal and all of that. I just, I don't know what you would call it. Um, so we're going to do that. And I'm just adding petals because now I forget what I did on the other side, but it really, like I said, it generally doesn't really matter. Okay, so there's that. Again, this is going to be the last one. Okay, we'll do... too bad. I think we only miscounted a little bit. Okay, so there's our top one. 
which kind of matches that one. And then we have a horizontal wide stripe here. And again, that one's going to go on top of all the other ones. Woo! Petals are done. And I usually fluff with them at the end, but... So as you can see, it is very, very full. Okay. Okay. So then what I do is like to... I did some different ones for Christmas um, because we had like poinsettias and stuff. So I wanted to try something different with this and do like more of a springy one. Um, so basically I take some greenery um, and actually before I do that, so I put my hanger up top here. So I go, the two bars that you have here is where I feed this through. Okay, and that's gonna be that's going to be my hanger. So I just kind of tighten it just a little bit. Okay. So then you, and then you have that and that'll be your hanger. Okay. So I take some greenery and I just kind of, you could put whatever you want together. And up here, there's these, the bars and I kind of get them out of the way of Turn it this way. I think it'll be easier. So you have this bar right here, and it has like a little crossbar to it. So I kind of, you can kind of stick it right on there, and then what I do is I zip tie it. And this is going to kind of hide the frame from the inner part of the heart. So I kind of do that. And I usually put a couple on here just to kind of make sure that it stays. And just kind of put it right onto that bar that's already there. And the zip ties seem to be able to keep it there pretty good. And then again, some greenery. We're going to put it right on the other side here. And this is going to help to hide all this, the inner stuff here. Again, I just kind of line it right with the bar. And then just put a couple zip ties. And that's usually enough to hold it in place. Okay. So then you have that up there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on a bow and some more flowers to kind of make it look really pretty up top here. So I kind of already did started the bow. Um, so what I'm going to do is these. I did two sets of flowers, which I kind of think I want to go kind of like right in here. So I'm going to zip tie these together close enough so that I don't lose the look of the top part of the wings. Okay. So I'm going to zip tie these and then my, my bow is going to go right on top of these. Let me just zip tie these. And we're almost done guys. And you can use any flowers, any greenery. Like I said, I did poinsettias with Christmas ornaments. Um, so that's going to kind of go right in the middle there. And then what I did is I made a bow. And again, purpose of some parts of the bow are going to be to hide the middle part of this frame in here. Okay. So basically I did two on each side which I'm just kind of pulling up to the top here so there's like four across and then on the next one there's two and then I have one in the middle okay do 
that, that, and there. Okay, so this, you can see it here, is going to go and sit on top of my flowers like this. So I already have a wire on this from when I created the bow, so all I'm going to do is just wrap that around this and attach it to it. Okay. And again, I apologize, my fingers are not working great today. Okay, so basically now you have the center, okay, for, for here, and then we'll figure out what we want to put kind of in the middle there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to that same part that I put that green ear on. I'm going to be attaching this around it. So I'm just going to kind of go through the back here. Let me see if I can flip this over so you guys can see it. So I kind of bring it up through this other one so that it kind of supports it. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it together. So I'm kind of using those bars as my, uh, my helpers. And then just kind of twist that. And just clip your wire. Okay. So this is kind of what the front looks like. And I was thinking, seeing it's spring, I was thinking of putting maybe a butterfly in the middle. Just kind of a couple. Let me put like do like a pink one or something in the middle like that. And I'll just tie this around the back here just to kind of keep the butterfly on. I'll probably will put a little afterwards put like a little glue on it just to kind of make sure that it stays. And we'll do this for right now. Okay, and then basically there it is. You can add as much floral as you want. And then what you can do is I'm, let me turn it this way for you so you can see it. So that's basically what your angel wings are gonna look like. I'm very picky, even like about my, the back of mine. Um, so what you can do, see if I have a picture of it here. So on the back of mine, I ended up, you could see this, I just used a piece of um, foam to cut it out just so that it kind of covered this part for me because I didn't like that showing. I like to have like a nice clean look to the back. Um, and then I just used another piece of foam with my Cricut and I actually um, personalized it for somebody. So I did like in memory, I don't know if I, could, if I have to bring it up closer, but, um, and then I just put that on there for them. Um, but you don't have to cover it if you don't want to. Like I said, I just kind of, that's how I like to have the back a nice, nice clean back too. But yeah, so that is basically it. I want to thank everybody for coming. I'll go through all the comments in case there's any questions and I'll make sure that I, um, you know, that I respond to them. And then what I'll do is I'll take a picture of this um, on the wall and I'll post it to um, my page so that if you want to just kind of see the finished product up on the wall, you'll be able to see that. Okay. Um, and again, thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate it. <laughs> you guys are making this... Uh, making it easier and easier each time for me. Um, and again, thanks, Michelle, for allowing me the opportunity to go on your page tonight. And, um, and I hope to do more in the future. Have a good night, you guys.